Hey, what's going on guys? If you need to install some add-ons still, click one of the above links. Once you have some add-ons installed, we need to manage them. This includes keeping them updated, enabling or disabling them, and make sure we are not slowing our game down with certain add-ons, or too many. And I'm also going to be going over the ones I have and why. So let's get started. Alright, so the easiest way to keep your add-ons updated is using the Twitch app. Under the My Add-ons tab, you can just click Update All, and that will update all your add-ons. Note this only updates the ones that are installed through the Twitch app. If you installed add-ons manually from a website, you'll have to go to that website and do it from there. Maybe check to see if your add-ons need updated every couple weeks or so, or after a big patch. Also, to completely remove an add-on, just right-click it and click Delete. Okay, for in-game management of your add-ons, it starts with the character select screen. You're going to click the add-ons button down here, and here you see all the add-ons you have installed. Here you can set which add-ons are enabled for each character. So maybe on your banker character, you want your auctionator add-on enabled, but on the rest of your characters, you don't. This saves up on memory so that unnecessary add-ons aren't running. Most of the time, if an add-on is not too out of date, you can check the load out of date add-ons button and it will still work. As it is with the sell junk add-on I have right here. Now let's jump in game and see what we can do with our add-ons. When you are in game you can do the same thing. Just go to your game menu here and click on the add-ons button and you're given the same options. Most of the time it will have you reload the UI after you make a change. Most of the time the add-on settings can be found in the interface options here under the add-ons tab. So here's all the options for each of my add-ons. If your add-on isn't listed in this list, then it might have a special command you have to enter in the chat. This can usually be found on the mod page wherever you downloaded it. So the next thing I want to talk about is performance. You are going to find a lot of add-ons that you think you want at the time, but in the end you realize they are unnecessary and they are just bogging up your system. You only want to have the ones necessary. You don't want to have too much cosmetic stuff or stuff with special effects on your screen. Like if you turn off all your add-ons and check your FPS and then turn all your add-ons on and check your FPS, you will notice quite a big difference. Basically just, just watch out for big add-ons that will slow your game down. Performance can be an issue because if you download like a madman, just go and download all the add-ons you see that you like. It will bog up your system over time. Try to only focus on getting add-ons that are really improving your gameplay and help you get the most out of the game. Okay, now let's go over my add-ons and I'll explain to you why I think these are the best ones out there. So starting off with Auctionator. This one's great for quickly posting auctions. You set a amount to undercut in the settings and then whatever item you drag in, it'll automatically undercut it. All you have to do is set the stack size and the amount of stacks. Next up is Bag On. Bag On neatly puts all of your bags into one giant window for you. I prefer this over the Blizzard default. And to keep things organized, I usually put my profession stuff in the bottom left corner and the stuff I want to auction in the bottom right. Big debuffs makes it easier to see what current buffs or debuffs you have on you. These are major ones, such as Dash or Stun or Sap. It just makes it a little easier to quickly look. If you have ever played on the server Illidan, or any of the other full servers, then I'm sure you're used to seeing the trade chat spammed with Chinese text. Why this happens on NA servers, I don't know. But thankfully, we have an add-on called Block Chinese just for this. It just does exactly that. Removes any and all Chinese text from the chat. All better. Coordinates does exactly what you would think it does. It adds coordinates to your map so that you can spot a specific point. Next is Deadly Boss Mods or DBM. What this does is show you alerts for the current fight so you have some kind of clue what the hell you're doing.
The other add-on that we're going to look at in this clip is Scatta. This keeps track of your damage, healing, pretty much everything you would ever want to know about a fight. And you can report it to your group or go into detail yourself and look at it. Without this or any add-on like this, you wouldn't have much of a clue how much damage you're doing compared to everybody else. Next is favorites. I'm not going to go too deep into this one, just adds a few more options for your social tab. So Greenwall and Pratt 3.0 are both good add-ons to use for your chat. Greenwall connects the guild chats for multiple guilds. No setup is required, you just install it and you're good to go. Pratt is an add-on I've used for years, and what it does is slightly change the look of the chat. Let's say you want to configure your UI and move some things around. Move anything lets us do just that. Move anything. You go to the options here, through the game menu, move anything, and then you basically just find something you want to move. For me, I usually take out the griffins on the sides, as I feel like they're very necessary and just get in the way. So you just check the hide boxes, and bam, that's it. You can go crazy with this and do all sorts of things with your UI. Cell Junk is an amazing add-on. Instead of ruffling through your bags trying to find those grades to sell to the vendor, you just click one button and bam, that's it. It even tells you in the bottom left in your chat how much gold you gain from selling your grades. These next two are great for leveling up your alts to 110. The first one, WoW Pro Guides, is for quick, mindless questing. You can fly through zones and it even shows you the treasures you can get along the way. This is great, as you're not running through blind, missing many of them. TomTom Tom compliments this with a nice little waypoint arrow showing you where to go. This next one is like a deadly boss mod for PvP. Listen closely. Cheap shot. What that just told me is that a rogue on the enemy team used cheap shot. Note, it is helpful, but it can get annoying sometimes. Continuing with the PvP add-ons, this one is PvP Grid, and it shows you all of the players on the other team, so you can easily select them and see how many healers they have, DPS, etc. Alright, so this next one is called Omnibar. What it does is show you which interrupts are currently on cooldown, so you have better knowledge of whether or not you might get interrupted. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope this helped you out a little bit. If there was anything you liked or didn't like about the video, please leave a comment and let me know. Any feedback is very appreciated. Until next time, though, Stelzner Gaming, out.